Hello and welcome to my follow-up video uh, on how I did the installation of MacOS on my virtual machine on my Xen Client 2. Uh, first of all, you need some applications. I just show you the applications now what you are needing and the information tab from this video I will post the links for, uh, or the name from it where you can get it. First of all, you need the package, it is Kelly Way. It is a pre-installed or a predefined installation from the, the macOS 10.5. It is uh, configured to run on, on normal computers. So the bootloader is made for a normal computer, not a virtual machine. Because of this, the setup will start and crash or won't even start. So the thing you need is the PDX PPF3 patcher I already marked here. Uh, you will find the link, as I mentioned before, in the in the details of this video. And in there you will find the PPF OMATIC3 and you just run the EXE file. It will ask you for the ISO file and the patch file. So I just got to choose now the, the ISO file, which is the ISO which is coming in the package. And it asks you for a PPF file. This PPF file comes together with the, the download and I just say open and after this you have to say apply. I don't apply this now because I already applied it. Uh, this will just take a second or something, it does not take really long. After this you need a tool to connect to your to your Xen client. In my case I use WinSCP. When SAP will ask you for the connection details to your Xen client. So I just put the camera here just a second. It's in my case 192.168.19. I use username root. And I don't tell you my password now. <laughs> so if you connect the first time, it will ask you if you accept the certificate. You just click yes. Uh, it takes a second and as soon as you are connected you will see on the left side your local system and on the right side the, the Xen client. You just have to go to the root and there you will find a folder called storage. And in storage you will find the disks and the ISOs. In ISOs you can uh, just copy, drag and drop the, the ISO files the important thing, as I uh, already mentioned, is that it is in lowercase, so small letters. Otherwise, the Xen client won't recognize them. In the new edition, the Xen client 2, uh, the virtual machines already see if there is a new uh, ISO image in there. So, otherwise, if it does not recognize it, there is this undocumented uh, feature, as we want to call it. It's Control and Q, which does a kind of say tool stack restart or something like this. It just refreshes everything and rereads the directories and then you will see the, the ISO, the, the, the new ISO files. And as soon as this is done, you just have to say uh, on the top here, add virtual machine and install from disk. This will bring you to the to the new virtual machine wizard. Uh, for the installation I chose Windows 7 SP1 64-bit uh, with other modes the installation did not start or come up. You can name the virtual machine however you like to make test for example and you choose, uh, can choose image. There is also a way to change these images through WinSCP. Uh, on this machine I did not do this because it can also cause problems. I had a lot of problems on Xen Client 1, so it won't come up and ends up in a black screen after booting. So I just choose the lock sign. Next. For the installation, the recommendation is 512 megabytes of RAM and one vCPU. Um, I had no luck when I was starting it with two vCPUs and one gigabyte. You can just try it for yourself. But the chance that the setup hangs up in the middle of something like this or the machine is acting strange afterwards is rather high. So you say next. Now he asks you for the storage. 
the, the virtual disk is sim provisioned, so I can just show you how this looks like. Uh, if I go to disks, it's a kind of a dynamic disk. The disk never uses the, the real size. So if you, if you have a look, it's just 7 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes, or 3 gigabytes. It's not the, the real size you choose here. This is just a thing you want to use, you want to free up. Uh, so you can just choose 80 gigabytes of, of a space and click next. The next thing here, which is important, you don't say start with the machine and install, you have to say create with the machine and install later on and click on finish. So there's my new virtual machine, Mac test. You go to details and in here you have to choose edit. Uh, the first thing now is to go to hardware and in the configuration tab of hardware I chose the Xen tool CD and said Kellyway. So this is the first thing to do and the second thing is go to advanced and I also had troubles when I was not choosing those two parts. The first thing allow OEM installation and the second thing expose physical hardware information. The second thing is also very important for the drivers to install. The first thing is uh, just the emulation. Uh, it can also be important maybe for the machine, so I don't know. Um, you have to choose save and close. So now you click on start. So and after the boot manager comes you have quickly to press F8 for the the options menu and you just have to give him here some options. The first thing you want to do is uh, say X for safe boot mode, for the graphics to load. If you don't do this, maybe the boot menu will come and the setup will work. But in most cases, uh, in the beginning when I was trying to do this, the setup crashed or did not come up or in the, in the installation it stopped. And the second thing and more important thing even is to say uh, V for Weebos and to give him the option bus ratio equals equals where is the equal on the on the English keyboard hmm <laughs> here bus ratio equals 18 this is the CPU multiplier so in most cases it will be 18 or it will be 20 and uh, you just have to take a look for your uh, CPU if it doesn't work have a look on, on Wikipedia you can just uh, put in your CPU and there are a list of Intel CPUs and you will find the CPU multiplier and this is your bus ratio otherwise it could go too fast or too slow and the machine will crash because the operations do not work correct so if you want to know what this bus ratio thing is just google it um, so this is all you need and you just press enter and now the setup is starting So and here is the setup menu now. Um, in my case, I chose uh, German as language. Uh, for you now, I choose English. Uh, just click on next. Continue. And now the first thing you have to do is click on utilities and you have to choose the, da, 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 the disk utility, here it is. I just place the camera now. I hope this is great, okay. So, and now you have to create a disk. For this you have to choose the hard disk which you just created before. It is the 80 gigabyte disk. and. I click on erase and click erase, erase you can also choose the name here, uh, I left it untitled I don't know if it takes the, the name if I change it now so I say Xen client for example 
and no, I would have to, to format it again. So if you want to choose the name, you just have to say it before you. After this, you can close it and click down here on Agree. And now here is your untitled disk. If you do not this before, it will not find any, any disk to install and you cannot continue. So I choose Continue now and click on Install. So then click here on skip because you do not need to verify the, the ISO you can also let it verify but it will take about 5 minutes or something and then the installation itself starts so the installation will take about for 10 to 20 minutes depending on the CPU you have not depending on the, the RAM because we have configured 512 megabytes if you remember and so it will take a little time here, 9 minutes. After this is done, you are finished and you can just shut down the machine and uh, upgrade your, your uh, RAM and your vCPUs without any problems. So if you have any problems, just post it. Uh, I will try to help you. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you.